Alright guys, welcome back to the Stamps FX channel. Alright, so today we are going to be reviewing a very, very simple strategy that I'm sure you guys will appreciate. Now the setup does not take place every single day, but it does take place um, once every couple of days or so. And when it does take place, you're able to pull in 40 to 50 up to a hundred pips in some situations so I'm going to share this with you guys um, and you guys just drop a comment let me know what you think pull up a chart back test it and again trade at your own risk and be careful but um, back test this trade this on a demo account and see what you guys think about it alright so the strategy is simple but the secret here is the 93 period EMA alright so the EMA is the exponential moving average. I know a lot of you guys probably already know that, but it is a moving average. Um, but it is the exponential moving average, and it is uh, the 93 period EMA. So all we're going to do is wait for price to close above. Let's say that this was the close above, and enter right here. Same direction opposite side wait for price to close uh, let's say this was shaded price closed below enter going south so that's pretty much the whole strategy now the key here and I'll show you this in just a minute on the live chart you can't just do this at any point in time so for example this closed above if you got into the trade going up you would have lost money but look at the chart and tell me what you guys see in terms of the trade where this actually works alright now I'll point it out to you because you probably have already noticed but notice that the trade works let's say when momentum and this is a, a complete momentum strategy alright so look at this price comes down and closes below of course it crosses over the open is up here the closes down here it crosses over and then from there it's just a complete snowball this is an hourly chart by the way um, if you do the ruler see how many pips that is 172 pips in five or no not in five hours let's go over here that's 15 hours but it's 175 pips to this point but if you only got in here and just took it one hour potential here is 63 64 pips so what is the key here the key is to only use this strategy when the bar that crosses over the 93 period EMA is I'll say 40 pips or higher okay and this bar is when I say bar I'm not talking about from the wicks I'm talking about the body of the candle so that that's right at 40 pips so we'll say 40 pips or higher and by the body of the candle I mean if you have a candlestick that's like this say this is a candlestick and this wick comes here and here we only want this part of the candle we want to measure this part of the candle we don't want to come from the wick up here and measure all the way down to the wick of the candle we only want the body of the candle so if we have a candle with a real small body like this or some type of doji and then we have a long wick that comes up and a long wick that comes down and then you see the 93 period moving average coming up through here like this that's not what we're trading right now. that's not what we what we want all right we don't want this setup we want it to where a long candle comes through and closes above or below this moving average and then we want to get in whichever way the candle closes you know if it closes across to the upside we want to get in going up all right so let's so let's take another look at this this right here um, shouldn't qualify this candle stick body right here is only 27 pips and you see that would not have worked out but if you go over just a little bit more this huge candlestick right here the body of this candle is 74 pips all right 74 pips and if you was to jump in right here the next candle the next hour you would have been up 36 pips 
Now, over the uh, course of several uh, several hours, you see it went down about 148, 150 pips. But for this, I don't look to grab. You know, I don't look to. This is a short-term trade. This is an hourly chart. So you don't use an hourly chart to take a long-term trade. So I wouldn't look at this and say, okay, I'm gonna hold this for a few days and try to grab 121 pips. If I wanted to do that, I'll just flip over to the daily chart and then look for my 100 to 200 pips or so. But for the sake of this strategy, we just jump in right here. After we notice this, and you can ride it up for an hour. That's 12 pips. All right, and at the end of three hours, I don't stay in this trade longer than three hours. At the end of three hours, you know, if you see that you're slightly, if you're still in profit after three hours and it haven't, and the, the trade hasn't really given you the amount of profit you want, or let's just say you're, you're using uh, support and resistance lines. Let's say that you look at this and see that this was resistance at one point and then price came down and you say, okay, I want to trade this from here up to here. If price doesn't go up to here and give you what you're looking for, then just exit the trade out in a slight at a, a slight profit or sometimes break even um, or at a slight loss. But the way I do this, and I know a lot of people may not agree with this, but this is the way I do it. I look at this and I'll say, okay, this is the candle right here that pushed up past the 93 period EMA. My stop loss is here. And I take it for like one candle or so from here to here and then I'm out if I want to try to hold this to let's just say get up to here I do not hold I mean chances are it will get up to here if this push through I mean and it did for this one uh, so let's just say right here price did get here but after three hours I'm out of the trade this is the third hour right here now I'm right here the, the candlestick closed here well even if it comes down here and close um, I'm out of the trade that's if I'm looking forward to go way up here normally like I said what I'll do I'll hold it for only one or two hours usually it's one hour to be honest with you uh, but that's what we're looking for here we're not looking for a long-term trade we're looking for a simple sweet trade that we can jump in and jump out because this is a one hour chart so we are trading based pretty much on one candlestick I mean this is one candle that crossed over so we're using that to kind of pinpoint momentum and then we're kind of riding off of this so we're just riding the wave here price comes down this is strong momentum we'll get in goes down a little bit more we're out price comes up get in we're out price comes down get in we're out this is i don't think this is um eh, let's see is that 40 pips that's 30 pips so that wouldn't qualify we need a bigger candle this right here may be a loss Let's see. It's 42 pips. So, and here's an example. This is 42 pips. This is the candle right here. Um, this candle right here came back. It came against us. Now, the stop loss would be right here. The stop loss would be right here. Came down this trade would hand us a loss now if we stayed in the trade it would uh, we would lose 44 pips on the trade but we get in and the trade immediately reverses against us to the upside and remember we understand that the strategy is riding momentum so if it, it immediately close above first of all the, the 93 period EMA and then it's closing against us to the upside close the trade chances are that's not the trade we're looking for because most of the trades that play out, look at this long bar right here. The next bar is in the same direction. This bar comes down, closes. This next bar has already reversed. The momentum has pretty much died out at that point. So we could place our stop loss here um, and you know we can play this however we wanna play it, but long-term, I'm speaking in terms of long-term because this, of course, it did go down, way down here. Um, but look, we would have had to hold this trade for 22 hours and then we would have had to suffer through a loss or a drawdown of 60 pips when we could just come here and take our 25 20 
24 25 pips and be done so that's how the strategy works and if you see that wouldn't qualify but this is pretty much riding on momentum this would qualify large bar maybe that bar looks kind of large you know sometimes I have to measure the bars I can't necessarily uh, tell just by glancing at it so it's only 30 pips this may qualify nope that's, that doesn't qualify either 34 pips 33 pips so we're looking for these long bars that cross over this 93 period EMA and the reason we use a 93 period EMA um, because normally that is the that's kind of like the mid area so if it crosses over that area and it's a large bar normally momentum will continue so this right here momentum did continue but it's already kind of down toward the bottom so you see it kind of reversed already we're not looking to enter a trade that is over or severely um, overbought or oversold so that's why we want to try to catch it right here at the 93 period EMA and then ride it up so for example this right here may have qualified yeah barely 41 pips stop losses here all right so this right here kind of would have gave us an indication that this may not be going in our favor so at this point we can decide on whether or not we want to close out the position at 22 pips or 25 pips or so um, if we enter well this did okay so this didn't it came down to the line but it did not close below so even if you're in a trade and it goes down back to this line you can make the determination at that point uh, one of the uh, one of the draw one of the uh, deciding factors for me is if this comes down and actually close below the 93 period EMA you know if that happens now I'm thinking okay now momentum has shifted if it's a trade like this one two three uh, and I'm counting the bars here one bar two bar three bar and still kind of hovering you know maybe I'll let it come up just a little bit and maybe see what it does or move my um, stop loss up a little bit but if it's doing this I don't mind it but again let's see this is about three hours here or is that three hours oh we must have okay let's, let's set this again we would enter the trade here on this bar right here So if we would have stayed in this trade about eight hours or so, you know, the trade would have played out. But again, I probably would have taken a loss on this, depending on how quick this was moving or the news. Um, so anyway, guys, that is the strategy. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. And I didn't want to make it that long. So you guys make sure to check back um, on the channel. I do have some other strategies that I will share with you guys. I will be doing... Um, a few more analysis on the charts, some weekly analysis, and I'm going to publish those on my TradingView account. So be sure to go to TradingView. If you're signed up, follow me at StampsFX on TradingView. Um, but be sure to subscribe to the channel and also turn on the bell notifications so that you can get the notifications uh, when I drop a new video. And make sure you guys uh, hit the like button. And like I said before, leave me a comment. So just do that real quick. Subscribe, bell notification, and then leave me a comment telling me what you think about the strategy and telling me what your favorite strategy is. So I read all and I also read all the comments. I love interacting with you guys. So be sure to uh, drop a comment. All right. See you guys in the next video. Peace.